Good afternoon, it's Tuesday the 28th of November, it's about 2 o'clock, temperature is about 6 and I'm just off the Donegal Road, I'm along Nubia Street leading on to Maltke Street and there's Napoleon's nose dominating the skyline and there's Divis up there and I'm outside St Simon's Community Hub and there's an awful lot of new building has gone on here and uh, I'm coming down towards Maltke Street and this is where Ruby Murray famous Belfast singer from the 50s and 60s was born and I believe her house is demolished now and replaced by these uh, smarter looking dwellings but in memory of Ruby Murray the village green has been renamed here has been renamed the Ruby Murray Village Green. It's not good. In memory of Ruby Murray, who had five singles in the top 20 charts. Isn't that amazing? All at the one time in 1955. And she came from here. <laughs> you know? In Belfast and I'm just doing this wee video to remember her and this wee uh, park in Belfast is a is a memorial to Ruby Murray there's been a bit of artwork and tree planting has gone on here and this park was opened uh, formally opened the other week by Ruby Murray's daughter Geraldine or no, Ruby Murray's daughter Janet Burgess and she was accompanied by uh, Gerald Lawn Lawrence who runs the Ruby Murray website that's oh, good that she's remembered uh, she broke all sorts of world records in the 1950s with her five chart records all in the top 20 at the same time and I think there's only two other artists have have beaten that or not beaten that but are similar to that I think uh, one was Madonna and uh, this whole uh, playground or, or parkland area has been uh, sponsored and promoted by Blackstaff Community Development Soci Association in conjunction with St Simon's Community Hub which is a uh, video back up there and Ruby Murray uh, grew up probably went to Donegal Road Primary School she was born in 1935 and she made her TV, TV debut at the age of 12 and then uh, a few years later she released Softly Softly which was her uh, best known hit and there's a few uh, chairs and stuff remembering local, local people now this is the uh, this is the plaque and it's made up of a montage of children's faces from the Donegal Road I think that's really good that's class. And there's all the details about uh, Ruby Murray and her uh, distinctive horse voice. Ah, there it says. Most hit records in the top 20 at the same time, beating Madonna and the Beatles. But I think Madonna actually took over Tugger.
and Ruby Murray appeared before Queen Elizabeth in 1955 and uh, that was at the Royal Variety performance and she had so many accolades she had her own TV show she toured the world Of course, Ruby Murray, um, the name Ruby Murray gave rise to uh, the rhyming slang that we heard uh, in Only Fools and Horses. Oh. Now here's the woman centre down here that uh, was uh, supportive of uh, this, this park. Pretty. I like the uh, I like the street art. And it's interesting to note that all these street names, Malky Street and Sudan Street and Nubia Street and all the rest of it round here are uh, from the First World War. And there's Bismarck Street used to be up at the top of the road here. So uh, I was talking to Billy Dixon, the local there, and he was telling me all about it. So there we go. So the Blackstaff uh, Community Development Association and Billy Dixon as part of that uh, hope to uh, do further refurbishment and, and uh, get more uh, street signage as regards this wee park and uh, highlighting that Ruby Murray lived just along the street here. And it's good to remember people who have done good to the place. Just off the Donegal Road. A wee bit of signage here. Educational wildlife signage. Signage, signage, oh dear. And it's been put up by the council and RSPB and by the Department of Communities and all the rest of it. I would say you'd be hard put to find a hedgehog within five miles of here. But you will get swifts and you will get all sorts of bees over towards the bog meadows. But hedgehogs, hmm. Anyway, upward and onward.